um, Palava, Kiorana, this uh, cool kind of language. Um, so, in fact, I refer to it to I know the name. I to Lada Fiafi, to our friends and our family that have been able to gather um, this uh, Bible study that we have uh, here at Peachwood. So, really great to have our family and friends along. Let us start with a word of prayer um, and then we will uh, get into our study uh, today. Uh, let us pray. Father, we continue to be thankful, Lord, when we consider our sin. When we consider our wretchedness, Lord, um, we're just mind blowing and speechless, Father God, by the amazing grace uh, that we have uh, through the perfect sacrifice of your Son Jesus Christ. And Lord, we come once again because we know that uh, we need strength and yeah. we need uh, your power, and we can only find that as believers through the teaching of the scriptures. And so, Lord, we commit this Bible study to you. We commit the uh, the hearers and the hearts that are here today, and not only here, but also those who are able to uh, follow along with us online uh, this evening. We bless your wonderful name for your faithfulness toward us. In Jesus' name we pray, and we all say, Amen. 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 Um, yeah, tato su elola tato tusi in a tato tusi ne mo wele tato Bible study. Yeah, pole ya o ino le upole ya tuwe le ne. Fia fi ole tusi ne a tolu yoane. Ole fia fi ne. If I wele tato study le. So tonight we're going to finish off um, uh, Third John, uh, and it's been a, a wonderful last uh, few studies uh, to be able to understand this particular letter. Uh, so ole tusi le ne ole tusi a yoane le apostolo. So we're going to read from verses uh, 19, or with the study that we're going to look at tonight uh, will take place from verse 9 through to verse 14. In understanding the, the letter, we've been studying the letter from verse 1, um, and up to this point, uh, we've, we've stopped at verse 8, and the letter is, uh, is the third letter of a series of letters. So, ole tu si le ne, ole tu si lo na tolu, a epe e mua mua le tu si a yoane, lua le tu si a yoane, a epe e lo na tolu la e le tu si lea. Ole autu a atoa la fo i ole tu si a yoane, pe i fa autu a manatu a yoane, i le mele ta ua ole mea moni, po le upu moni, po le fa ama oni. So, pe o i nga ta to te i loa, ole autu ole mua mua le yoane, lua le yoane, tolu le yoane, so the, 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 the way that we could summarize uh, the three letters that John writes at the end of the Bible, so 1 John, 2 John, and now 3 John, because we've been able to study all of these three letters, and we can probably say that it encompasses the truth. So it's what is the truth, it is founded on the truth, it's living in truth, it's practical truth, it's spiritual truth. Everything that John writes about in these series of letters has been about the truth. But the last two letters, so 2 John and 3 John, is, is like um, John is writing to these believers um, with regards to being hospitable. So we as islanders, we're hospitable people by nature. So we quite are hospitable. But in the context of these two letters is because the, the gospel and the way that the gospel spread in Asia at that time or um, Asia Minor at the time it was through missionaries. And so missionaries would travel from city to city, town to town. Um, and the way that uh, missionaries would be taken care of would be pretty much by other Christians that would be in these different towns because there were no hotels or inns. They, they weren't, um, there was no place to stay. So these missionaries had to um, depend on the kindness of the body of believers that were in that vast region. So, what we see in Second John, so we're just going to go a step back. In the letter of Second John, we see that John addresses the elect lady and her children. 
And so he um, is addressing in the second John that there are false teachers and he warns them about these false mis missionaries and need, she needed to be careful about not accepting just anybody. And we remember way back in, uh, in the study of second John in verse 7, Remember, he says, for many deceivers have gone out into the world who do not confess Jesus as coming in the flesh. So that's a, a key verse in the letter of 2 John that he was addressing this particular believer of the faith. And she was a woman and she had children. Uh, he doesn't mention her name, um, but he that letter was around uh, being warned that you don't just receive anybody. You have to be careful. What is the truth? And so he unpacks the truth for her in that second epistle. Mm. So pela on the lapata inga la lea, lea pe e, e tuli loa e yoane, awane i talia le mea se, a i talia le mea moni. Praise the Lord. Then we come into 3 John and he continues the hospitality theme. And in the book of 3 John, he, here he actually addresses an individual. So he makes this letter very, very personal. O le tusi la lona tolu, e e tusi a ile tamata, ose a, a le tau te maul fai pu mua mua, o la o a o le toya ina, o la o tusi le neia kaiyo. O kaiyo la, tau te maul ile ata fa ata itai, o le tamata itali malo, maulona winga a itali ai malo fa ale kerisiano. So here, this letter is very personal. And it's written to a man by the name of Gaius. And Gaius is an exemplary example of Christian hospitality. Uh, and we read uh, in verse 6 last time, um, one of the examples there, it says, If you send them forward on, your, on their journey in a manner worthy of God, you will do well. So Gaius would host these missionaries in what John labelled as a manner worthy of God. And then we unpacked it a bit, and what we understood from the meaning of the word, a manner worthy of God, is that these missionaries weren't wealthy. And what Gaius would do, he would support them financially. Ah, he would support them with as much as they needed, resources, money, food, shelter, and he would uh, enable the work of the missionaries through um, being hospitable towards them. Ah, o le tau singa o le tau ngata le ne o kai o o au au na le tu o le na tato mau le tato study muli muli ah say ah le tato study muli muli le na tato mala mala mai wing o le tau ngata la le o kai o fa mai le fa yu pu e ono fa mai le fa ita wina um. Oe o fa i loa mai lo wa lo fa i lu mau le kale sia fa i te fe so so ani i lo la to mo linga e tu sa i le tu a i le lei la unea e fa i lo no winga le na tato fa ama la ma la ma te i sia le winga o le o le um i tu a inga tau singa le na tau si a i e kaiyo i te ngata o le tu a oe na watu mani me a moni a fa mai na i te tau si a i la to Mane molina e tusa ilea tua. Mane ya fo ilea fe so so ani a. Mane ya yo lea au wala e fa ati no ai le le tal tausi i ma lo ma tausi au au na alea tua. So this is a really beautiful example that Gaius gives us here. We arrive today, ladies and gentlemen, and in the last few verses. What we see is the final two characters that John writes to in this letter. It's a lua isi moa ya tato te maua. Ile tusi le nei ayoane. Ele ngata ya kayola na tusi. Ayolo o yei fo isi moa e lua. So today we see the other two names that John writes about in uh, in today's study. In today's study, those two people are Diotrephus mm -hmm. and Demetrius. And Diotrephus is an example where Gaius was an example of good hospitality, good Christian hospitality. 
John actually addresses this person, Diotrephus, as an example of evil hospitality. So there was a contrast. Ah. So, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. Okay, possessi fa vinga na e ma fai ona tato tino tino ai. So, la tato fai tau la le upo ne tua. Ah, ma tato ho lo la e mata mata i tangata ni to dua o tio te rifi, ma te me tiu. Today we're going to look at Diotrephus and Demetrius as the other two characters that are named by John in this letter. Verse 9 and 10 reads, actually verse 19 and 11. I wrote to the church, but Diotrephus, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. Therefore, if I come, I will call to mind his deeds which he does, prating against us with malicious words, and not content with that, he himself does not receive the brethren, and forbids those who wish to, putting them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. So if I tell my little fasa more and the old to see, Ia. The old to see and to the Ganesia. I'll see of the Riffy or Lays, Celia, Telato. A later year, I'll tell you. Only there be our own to Famana to Ireland, near or fire a So in um, Diotrephus, from verses 9 to 11, we see three characteristics of evil hospitality. And I just want to unpack that for us today. The first one we see in the very first line of verse 9, um, where John writes, I wrote to the church. Ah, So here is the apostle. Here is his heart for the church, uh, at the, the first century church. And there's a study that this, this letter is written from Ephesus at the time of John's final moments in his life. But he writes to the wider church and he says, I wrote to the church. But Diotrephus, who loves to have the preeminence among them, does not receive us. The first characteristic that of that is an example of evil hospitality is one who is selfish or one who has selfishness. Because what we see in that first line is that Diotrephus, who loves to have the preeminence among them, the word there who loves the preeminence uh, in its Greek definition uh, it comes from the word called philo pro to weo. Philo pro to weo. And the meaning of philo pro to weo is someone who has the desire to be first. Ah, so philo pro to weo 
means that this Diotrephus had a desire to be number one. What does that mean? He thinks about himself. Um, So when we look at Romans 12, 3, we get a, an example from Paul as to how we should think about ourselves. It says not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. And the meaning of the word soberly is to have the right mind and a sound mind. So when one thinks of himself, you're not to think of yourself in a selfish sense, but you're meant to think of yourself in a soberly way, which is sound, which is right. And you can only get that if you're in the will of God. You can only get that if you're in the word of God. <coughs> so this person, Diotrephus, was so much selfish or so much putting himself first that um, it was so much so that the end of verse 9 says that he did not receive the people who came with the truth. So the missionaries that arrived at this church, that arrived at Diotrephus' house, weren't even received by him because he thought so much of himself. Um, we, we actually see um we actually see examples in scripture of selfishness um, and so I'm gonna highlight a couple and if I can get um, brother Fala to turn to Esther in the Old Testament chapter 6 verse 6 uh, and I will get Nessa next to him Mark 10 verse 37. So <laughs> Famele feita wina ole manaonga ale ausole ne ile ma recognize fulu alo no faipo tolus fulu male fitu ah ona lafa maile ya te ya ya etu maya te ima ua matino nofo ole tasi lo witu ta matau male tasi lo witu ta wanga vale ilo mamalu a u fetsala ya tu yesu ya te ila ua lua te le ilo le mea lua te ole mayaina E ma faye o lua o na inu ile ipu o te inu wai, ma ia papatiso ina o ile papatiso nga e papatiso ina ai yao. O na la fai maile ya te ia mate ma faya, o na fetalaya tuleo Yesu ya te ila ua, lua te inu lava ile ipu o te inu wai, 
A toma le papati songa e papati so ina aia u. A o le nofo ilo itu tama tau malo itu tawanga vale. E le o ya te a u lea ona avatu. A e tau lava o e wa sao nia mo ila tau. Ea mea. O le maanei ai o le whainga o le whaamanino e le e Yesu. I le au soo ma le la mana onga. Fe e whaapito le la mana onga a. Can I just get Nesta read Mark please. Mark 10. Verse 37, through to 40, please, Nessa. Mark 10, 37 to 40. They said to him, grant us that we may sit, one on your right hand and the other on your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, you do not know what you ask. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They said to him, we are able. So Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink the cup that I drink, and with the baptism I am baptized with, you will be baptized. Mm. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, mm. but it is for those for whom it is prepared. Amen. Yeah, see, the, the response that Jesus gave these two disciples, mm. I guess in their spiritual immaturity, they got to that place where they're like, Jesus, when we get to heaven... My brother's on the left hand and I'm on the right hand. And Jesus says, uh, well, actually, that position, it's up to the Father, right? And so he corrects them at the same time. But it shows that in our flesh, sometimes we can be quite selfish. Uh, Father, if we can read uh, the example from Esther. Um, Esther chapter 6, verse 6. So Haman came in and the king said to him, what is it to be done for the man whom the king desires to honor? And Haman said, to himself, whom would the king desire to honor more than me? Amen. The example that we have here is Haman. Remember the story of Esther and the story of her uncle Mordecai? Um, and Haman was the evil right hand man of the king. But when the king wanted to bless Mordecai, he asked Haman, what shall I do to sort of honor somebody who deserves being honoring? So remember the story of Mordecai, uh, Mordecai who saved the king when he reported those who were trying to kill him in the beginning of that story. And then Haman selfishly thought it was him. So then he came up with this grand plan to have this parade go through the city all to find out that it wasn't for him. It was for the other dude. It was for the Jewish dude, right? Tato te mana tua fo ile tala ya more te kai. Um, ia malitanga tala le ne yo ha manu. E se ta ono nom ta apo e ono fai po e ono fai mai. Ua ulu fale mai ha manu ona fai atu le ule tupu ya te ia. Se a se mea e fai ya ile tanga ta ua loto ya ile tupu. Ona ia, ona ia fa a ne e ne e ina o ia. Ona fa pe i fo le o ha manu ilo na loto. Po wai se i se fi na ngalo le tupu o na fa'a ne e ne e ina o ia na o a u lava. Se pe yo o na yata ia e tu watu i lo tato manatu i le nea fi a fi i le mele ta ua o le fi a sili. So le la sa ia i le tangata le nei o ti o te rifi. So just some examples from some texts in the Bible with regards to selfishness and we even see it in the disciples in their immaturity stage. Ah. But, you know, her pr praise the Lord that James and John grew up in Christ mm -hmm. and became uh, martyrs for the call. As we carry on with the story of this person, Diotrephus, we see it in verse 10 that it carries on. Uh, and in verse 10 we read, uh, Therefore, if I come, I will call to mind his deeds which he does, prating against us with malicious words. And not content with that, he himself does not receive the brethren and forbids those who wish to, putting them out of the church. O le vaina lo na lua i le i le ata le a mai ti o te rifi i lo na a mi o le anga i le te mi tali e malo a po a o na le tu fa mai fa i po se fulu o le me le a pe a o wa wa tu le tala no yo ane o te fa a man na tu wa i la na a mi o o lo fa ya e ya. O lo o tuwa upua mai ya i maatou i upule anga. E le nata fo e ia mea, a e le taria lava e ia le auso, e vavao atu fo i i le lo i e loto i ai. Na te fa a te a ina i la atou i le e kane sia. O le matau tia i o le tuu langa le tangata le nei, ona e le nata o ia o le tangata e fia sili. A e fa mai o ia fo i o le atalona lua o le tangata e upule anga. 
Fa maile fai pose fulu o te fa manatu i aila na amio o lo o faia e ia o lo o tuwa upua mai i mato i upu le anga. O le ata lo na lua o tangata le ni o te tia te rifi o le tangata e ia i upu e faa le anga. E le ta tau i le tangata ke risiano le mea le aa. So what we see in the second characteristic of evil hospitality is that there is selfishness but then we see here that he was also one who was prating against us with malicious words. And what we see here that as a second characteristic of evil hospitality is one who is not only selfish, there is selfishness, but we also see one with evil words. Ah, the, the meaning of the word, uh, the meaning of that sentence, prating against us, comes from the Greek word fluareo, fluareo. And that means to accuse falsely. So Diotrephus was accusing these missionaries that was heading his way. It's to talk utter nonsense and to make empty charges. So he was starting to create and generate this whole false narrative about these people because of his evil thoughts. Ah. Not only that, it says that he was prating against us, so he was accusing falsely, he was talking utter nonsense. But the other part there says with malicious words, poneros, poneros, and poneros, the meaning of that word is vicious. So the words that he was using, they were vicious words, they were hurtful, they were evil. So that's the seriousness of how this guy was dealing with those who were coming, and he was supposed to be hospitable. Remember James? Remember what we were learning about the tongue? And I just that sort of was brought to mind as I was uh, preparing this study. And then remember in the book of James that the seriousness of what comes out of the heart is spoken by our mouths. In James chapter 3, verse uh, 8 to 10. James chapter 3, verses 8 to 10. And so if we think about Dio, Diotrephus and the fact that he was using malicious, vicious, harmful words, because that's what it says, uh, he was prating against us with malicious words. That was the character that he had. But for you as a believer, if you consider yourself a true Christian, we were taught by James that that shouldn't be so. That Diotrephus was part of the church. But this was a this was plain sign that Diotrephus was actually against the church. He was in the church. This is somebody that John was saying, hey, this dude's in your church. But if he's doing this, this is not right. Because James says this in verse 8 to 10. But no man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men, who have been made in the similitude, similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceed blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not be so. So we know clearly from the word, brothers and sisters, that vicious, malicious, evil words should not be part of our character. But Diotrephus shows us that opposite side. Huh? That's the cool thing about God's word, I reckon, is that it shows us both sides. Hey, it never shows us just one side. That's like other religions. They only show the good sides. I'm so grateful to God's word because it shows us what you should do and clearly it shows us what we shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. 
O lea watato vivi ia i ilea tua le tama. O lea foi watato fetu ua i itangata ua faia e forina ilea tua. Elwai mai ile mutu e tasi le vivi i male fetu u. O usoe e le tusa o na faia fa a bea na mea. Mana i foli nafso soali motato me lea fia fia au sumu tu fafine. O lea la watato va ayatu. E le anga le, le, le upu na tau tala ia ti o te rifi a wā au auna o loo fai mai. A ua tā tau i loa mai le upu a le atua e le tā tau ia te i tā tau upu le anga. Tolu, the third characteristic that we see um, in this person diatrephus, there's quite a few negatives this evening, but bear with us, we're just going through the word, praise the Lord. And it goes on to say, and not... Oh, actually, I'll just finish off that part in uh, verse uh, 10. Because it says there right at the end. Uh, it says, um, Therefore, if I come, I will call to mind his deeds, which he does, prating against us malicious words, and not content with that. He himself does not receive the brethren, and forbids those who wish to by putting them out of the church. The <laughs> third characteristic is the fact that he is unkind. Ah, not only did he was he selfish, he put himself first. He then would talk about, he would gossip, he would speak evil about these missionaries that are on their way. But third, he was unkind. What he was doing to the church was that he would not, he would tell the people of the church, no, 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 don't receive those missionaries that are on their way. If they did, what he would do was kick them out of the church. So they, they showed a character of, being unkind, ah, so ile winga no tatoro tangata leni fa mai ile ngata efiasi lua ile ngata tato teva aye upu fa sausili ah bo upu le anga a fa mai ole tangata fo idea fa mai ele tsalia le auso a eva vao fo i i tangata le kanesia awa le tsalia le auso a tsalia se si le auso fa mai ona ania fa mai ona ia fa a tsia fo i lato. Ile e kāne isia. O le mta utia i o le maa lusi o le tangata lea. O le mta utia i o le awhāina. O le e kāne isia. O na o le tangata le nei o ti o te rifi. E be i whā manatu ai fo i a ti tātou a. E le nei fo i le tātou māna malama i me whā pea. A wālo au maia e le a fionga pa i a le a tua. So three characteristics. He was selfish. He was his words. His evil words. And he was unkind. Then we move on to verse 11. And verse 11 says, Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. Uh, he who does good work is of God, or he who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. O lea a miole lei, mai lea tua lava lea peitai. O lea a miole anga, e le i filoa atu lava e ia lea tua. So we see the word imitate here. So we see the word imitate, and we heard this on Sunday. So John encourages Gaius with this, with exhortation, with this encouragement, for him to imitate what is good. Don't imitate dear Trifus, but imitate what is good. Is good, and we see the word imitate comes from uh, the word that we heard on Sunday was mimios, uh, mimios. Uh, but the word in this particular uh, instant is mime o mai, mime o mai, which is comes from the root word of mimios, and this is to follow or to mimic. Uh, so again, it's that the whole notion of following, and he's saying, uh, imitate, don't imitate, don't imitate what is evil, Gaius. Imitate what is good. Don't follow what is evil. Follow what is good. For many people that school, I want to find out what all is going on. Not only the day. When the two up were Paulo ya Cornito, we talk about five people swimming on the day. Or the I or Yatu ya the Oto. Ia Oto find out what all is going on. Up were Paulo ya Efeso. We talk about Lima. Five people more more on the day. Ia find out what all Oto is going to do. Find out where all the fun now. Belly. Praise God. They remember Paul when he says that to the church in Corinth, therefore I urge you, uh, Paul urges them, imitate me. 
And he says in Ephesians 5 verse 1, Therefore be imitators of God as dear children. So the, the, the encouragement of the word of God for us today is to imitate what is good. What is good? What is good is actually in his word. What is the way? We must imitate what he has given us. First John chapter 3 verse um, 6 to 9. If we could just flip our Bibles to that. <coughs> we'll ask Tupai to read that verse for us. First John 3 verse 6 to 9. More morning, you are down on top with Tony. And if I tell me to buy the Fapiritania, I tell you if I tell you if I pass a month of poyo no, you will find you poor Eva. First John three verse six to nine. Whoever abides in Him does not sin. Whoever sins <coughs> has neither seen Him nor known Him. Six to nine. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Oh. Praise the Lord. In verse 7 it says, He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. 8. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. So we're talking about um, sanctification. We're talking about living a righteous life. Not that we have any righteousness of our, of our own, because we don't. Ah, but our righteousness is of the Christ who died to save us. And we're cloaked in that. We're clothed in that. And so we praise God for that. Ah, praise God. So if you tell me more from the Lord, I will be able to live in the world. I will be able to live in the world. I will be able to live in the world. I will be able to live in the world. I Ole faile amasala, mai le tia apolo la baia, awa wa masala le tia apolo, tamu le amatana. Ole mea la balea la faa lia mai ai le amo le atua, ina ia faa umatia e ia nga nuena ale tia apolo. O ila to uma oe ua fana mai le atua, la to tele faia le amasala. A wa o lo o tu mau i te tonu i a te i la tau la na fua. E le ma fai foi o na masala. A wa o a fa na mai i la tau i la tua. So um, that, that's the encouragement that um, John was trying to encourage Gaius. Ah, le ta ma fai kai o uh, ya Joanne fa ma losi a kai o a wa le fa o ha o i le le anga na o le le le. Ah, he was trying to encourage Gaius. Don't imitate what is evil. Only what is good. Why? Because John knew that Diotrephus was there. Huh? John was going to come face to face and remind Diotrephus, Hey mate, you know, this is what you were doing that was not of the will of God. So John was using his apostolic authority to write to Gaius that, Hey, I'm going to come and deal to Diotrephus. Don't you worry about that. But in the meantime, don't imitate Diotrephus. Only imitate what is good. Because at the end of that verse 11, he says, But he who does evil has not seen God. You know, sin loves darkness. And, and sin does not love light at all. And that's what I was reading in John 3.20. That segues us into... Uh, the next person, and his name's Demetrius, because Demetrius is the positive part of our study tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And it says Demetrius has a good testimony from all. 
And from the truth itself, and we also bear witness, and you know that our testimony is true. Well, it's a lot of the Lua Leo or to see a lot of the Tolu there to see a Yoanel or to see or Kayo or Tio Terifi, as a lot of Neo Temetio or Ila Tato Timba while it's a lot of Longo Lelea. Praise God. I have we ah. It's if you man now a long ole lea lau tala ama. It's if you man now a loa mai oe le la lulangi. If you a long ole lea, it's a tala a wing a long fa atua tua. Tala tala leo temetiu. You know what about us? Ah, what would we want to be? What would we want to have as our testimony? Because the verse there says Demetrius has a good testimony from all. This guy dear um Demetrius, he had a good testimony from everybody. And it's, it's, it's understood that this is probably the guy that delivered the letter to Gaius. Because it says at the end of that verse 12, And we also bear witness. That means John and all of the people that were with him, they bore witness of this dude Demetrius. They were going, what was this? This dude. This guy. Hey. They were probably really encouraged by Demetrius. And so, and so, uh, so he had a good testimony from everybody. What an amazing life this guy had. Ah, for me, what long on in there, Timetiu, Etangata, Uma, Lava. So, good testimony. The meaning of the word good testimony is matu reo. Matu reo. And matu reo is to be a witness or to affirm what one has seen or what one has heard or what one has experienced about someone else. Amen? So, what one has seen, has heard, and experienced has been affirmed by someone else. So no no wing or upule along ole lea, or se mea ua moli mao, ma ua faa mao nia, ise o langa, o se tangata. Afa me ole mea ne moli mao, e tangata e fata tau li tangata le neo, te metiu. Fa me ua long ole lea te metiu e tangata uma lava, a toa male upu moni. Wow. Ole ole long ole lea na. It's a tau on a sa iliata at all. I along on a lea le tala yate oi. On a lea on a le upumoni le na yate oi. The amazing thing about this dude was that he had a good testimony, but it wasn't because of his character or his behavior. But it says there, there was a good testimony from all and from the truth itself. He had the truth. It was the truth that was his testimony. Nothing else. We don't know anything else about Demetrius. It just says that he was he had a good testimony and also from the truth itself. We now know that we serve the objective truth. Huh? And the objective truth is in Christ. And I imagine that Demetrius and everything that he heard about the gospel from the apostles, part being part of the church, hanging out with a guy like Gaius, he knew that there was the truth. And he was imitating Gaius. He was imitating John. He was reading the letters of Paul and, you know, decided, man, okay, this is the life that I should live in the truth. And we think about people like Cornelius. Ah, he had a good testimony. We think about people like Ananias in Acts chapter 22, where Paul talks about Ananias, who had a good testimony about himself and came and laid hands on Paul at Paul's original conversion. Ah. So we know that the truth itself, and there are a couple of other examples that are put up there where Paul talks about it to Timothy and to Titus. These were young pastors. These were young pastors of the church. So let us look at those two books. Uh, if we can ask um, our brother Junior, do you mind reading for us today? First Timothy four twelve, please, brother, and fella, Titus two verse seven and eight. Um Oli, from a more fate of my more more motel tap with Fafa Prosuma Lua. Um safe Fife Kao? Lea, okay. Uh Mam Tito Tapwe Lua Fepwe Fitu Eo Inevalu. So let us uh finish off with these last words of encouragement of Paul to Timothy and Paul to Titus. Okay, uh, Junior, please. Uh, first Timothy 4, 12. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example to believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, 
in purity. Amen. So that's Paul's example, uh, Paul's encouragement to Timothy, uh, that he is to be an example. Don't let anyone look down on you, Timothy, because you are young. But in all those things, in spirit and purity and love and truth, be an example. And to Titus, Father's going to read. Thanks, Father. And Titus 2, verses 7 to 8. In all things, show yourself to be an example of good deeds, of purity and doctrine, dignified, sound in speech, which is beyond reproach, so that the opponent will be put to shame, having nothing bad to say about us. Man, that's a big challenge right there, huh? Mm. But Titus was willing to pick that up, huh? Say, if it's all my family, more than all, it's not all in the Ina ia vea i tātou mai e ua longo le leia. E le ngata fai lai au au nā le atua. Au tātou, ah. Mm. Ina ia vea i tātou ma whaa o wa au i mea le lei. Mm. Lo ta ngata whaatua tua. Ia longo le leia oi. Ona o le upu moni. That we be, once we have a good testimony, not because of our behaviour or something that we do, mm. but of because of the fact that we have the truth. Ah, that our, our, the testimony of our lives is from the truth. That everything that we do, People will look at us and read us and say, man, they have something. Uh, they have the truth. Praise the Lord. The final person that we want to see in this to study today is found in verse 13 and 14. And it's the person of John. So, um, I have many things to write, but I do not wish to write to you with pen and ink. But I hope to see you shortly, and we shall speak face to face. Peace to you. Our friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. And I love the final verses of this study, because it shows the character of John. And John's desire was to be with the brethren. His desire was to see them. He goes, I don't want to write to you any further. But I want to see you face to face. Ah, or or the lotto ato yo ane le fai unga lana to see ina iya mafuta male auso pe o le fe so so ani na mo tato ah ina iya vei itato o se auso tato te mafuta e ma fai o na fe so so ani le tasi le tasi le fai o wife a mai o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o o Alofa, ah, we see here his love for the brethren. He says, peace to you, our friends greet you. Greet the friends by name. Praise the Lord. So that's the end of our study, brothers and sisters. We've seen four people in this story. The first person is the apostle himself. And he starts the story that he's an elder. And he ends the story that his love and his desire to see the brethren. And that's such a wonderful encouragement. We see Gaius. And Gaius is the example of hospitality. How we should be able to give and minister and serve those who are on the mission field as believers. We see Diotrephus. 
entire trefus unfortunately is the example that we don't want to be following but we want to be like demetrius uh, have a good testimony and that our good testimony is from the truth Ole awala ina ia au auna il au auna le atua a ma tali ma lo tio terifi ia ole tangata la le watato ilo fa ma ye fa ama walunga fa ma ye fi esili fa ma ye upule anga fa ma ye le alofa itangata a ele tatawi le tangata kerisi ano winga ia au temetiu temetiu la elongo le leya aisea ona ole upu moni. Think about those four people. Think about which one you would fall under. Ah, are you a John? Are you a Gaius? Are you a Diotrephus? Are you a Demetrius? You know, which one are you? Hey, if you're a Diotrephus, then man, pray today. <laughs> Repent today. Ah, but hopefully we can be encouraged by the lives of John, Gaius, and Demetrius. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask Brother Fala to finish us off with a word of prayer. Yeah, and then we will finish off our study today. Thanks, Brother Fala. Let's pray. Um, Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of life through the Son Jesus. Mm-hmm. And it's allowed us to get here today to fellowship, to encourage, to challenge ourselves. Yes, a way a believer should combat themselves. Mm-hmm. I thank you for uh, Brother Friends. Uh, Lord, as he labored and toiled in your work, Father, we pray for strength for him, Father, to uh, do things unto you. And thank to you. Unto you, Father, in all glory and everything that's done to you. Be unto your name alone. Yes, Lord. I pray for the family that is in today in this household. Mm. I pray, Lord, that we've received the word of greatness of mind. <coughs> and also, Lord, that it's on truth will find itself on every Yes, Lord. At the same time, Father God, that we will go back and not just be hearers of the word, but be doers. So I thank you for tonight, Father, <coughs> all glory and honor to your name and your name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. For saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for your making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation. So.